smooth part and the rough part. This is also known as atrium proper and this part develops from the sinus venosus and known as sinus venarum. Here we can see the fossa ovalis. This is the floor and these are the anterior and posterior limbs of the fossa ovalis. Which develops from the septum secundum and floor develops from the septum primum. And here we can see the rudimentary valve of the inferior vena cava. which is moon shaped the wall of the inferior vena cava also known as eustachian wall this wall is known as eustachian wall and it is moon shaped having convex surface towards the inferior vena cava and the free edge of this wall is having two horn, the right horn and the left horn. The right horn of the Eustachian wall remains continue with a ridge known as Krista terminalis. So this part is known as the Krista terminalis and in the on the outer surface this is forming a sulcus or depression or groove known as sulcus terminalis but internally it is having elevation known as the crista terminalis so the post right limb of this eustachian wall remains continue with the inferior edge of the crista terminalis the left edge of this Eustachian wall remains continue with the anterior horn of the limbus fossa ovalis. This Eustachian wall is maintaining the flow of the blood during fetal life from inferior vena cava to the left atrium directly it is shunting the blood during fetal life lungs are not functioning so the pure blood which is coming from the umbilical vein from the placenta the poorly the rich oxygenated blood which is coming from the placenta through the umbilical vein vein entering in the inferior vena cava through the ductus venosus is directly shunted to the left ventricle by direction of this eustachian wall but after birth this wall is rudimentary there are small openings in this smooth part known as foramina venarum minimarum and these are the openings of the small veins this part is having the septal base of the septal cusp which is the cusp of the tricuspid wall which is regulating the flow of blood from right atrium to the right ventricle. So this is base of the septal cusp of the tricuspid wall and here we can see the opening of the coronary sinus. So there are three 
winners openings or channels which are bringing the poorly oxygenated blood from the all body including the heart one is superior vena cava the inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus so this is the opening of the coronary sinus between the opening of tricuspid valve and the inferior vena cava so this surface is smooth surface known as sinus venarum forming the interatrial septum and it is having the fossa ovalis and limbus limbic fossa ovalis so this part is formed by the septum primum and this part the limbic fossa ovalis is formed by the septum secundum during fetal life during fetal life it is having an opening known as foramen oval which will allow the well oxygenated blood which is coming from the inferior vena cava directly to the left atrium by the direction of the eustachian wall so between the septal cusp base of septal cusp and the fossa ovalis there is sub endocardial ridge and this ridge is known as tendon of todero it is known as the tendon of todero so between the tendon of todero the base of septal cusp and between the coronary sinus opening there is a triangle the triangle is formed between the tendon of todero the base of septal cusp and the coronary sinus this triangle is known as cox triangle the anterior rough surface or atrium proper which is formed by the absorbed part of the primitive atrium known as atrium proper and it is having transversely running ridges known as musculi pectini or pectinate muscles these are the elevations formed by some muscles known as musculi pectini or pectinate muscles and here we can see the right auricle which looks like the ear of a dog so known as the auricle it is also having the musculi pectini and it is potential site for formation of the thrombus and these thrombi can cause the pulmonary embolism a fatal and dangerous disease so here we can see the rough part the smooth part and there it is the fossa ovalis the opening of the coronary sinus and the septal wall cusp of the tricuspid wall opening of superior vena cava inferior vena cava so this is the posterior part forming the interarterial septum and this is the rough part or the atrium proper now i will talk about the anatomy of the right ventricle